Hi, today's problem is, if one parent that is heterozygous for both alleles A and B is crossed with another parent that is homozygous recessive for both alleles, what proportion of the offspring would be expected to be like parent 2? And here is the four answers that you may choose from. And uh, if you know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem. And then you can uh, run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is my explanation. So we have two uh, parents that we have to cross and one is heterozygous, that is capital A small a and capital B small b. And we have to cross with another parent that is homozygous recessive for both alleles. So small a small a and small b small b. So, uh, in order to solve this problem, we can do it with uh, two different methods, and I want to show both methods today. And first method would be express method, so we have to consider each allelic pair uh, separately. So here we have uh, one allelic pair and another one, and for the parent two also one allelic pair, another one. So when we consider uh, allelic pairs separately, we have to do a Punnett square for them uh, separately. So uh, here we would have capital A and small a for one parent and small a, small a for the other parent. And when we do such um, Punnett square, we can find uh, the frequency of the recombination of both uh, these parents. So here we would have capital A, small a capital A, small a here, small a, small a here, and small a, small a here. And uh, we are looking for the progeny whose genotype going to be small a, small a. And as you see, 50% here, or one half, would be uh, of the genotype that we are looking for, small a, small a. Let's now consider, so we just did it for this allelic pair, so now we do the same thing for the second uh, pairs of alleles. And uh, this time we have capital B and small b for one parent and small b, small b for the second parent. And of course allelic frequencies would be the same like in previous example. So we would have capital B, small b here small b, small b here, and small b, small b here. Once again, as you see, we are looking for the uh, alleles small b, small b, like here. And as you see, we have one half or 50% chances uh, for the in, in such a cross of parent capital B, small b, with parent that is a small b, small b, the chances is uh, one half uh, that the progeny would be this genotype. And uh, now we just have to multiply these uh, chances. So one half for AA, we have to multiply with uh, one half for to be BB. And as you see, the chances is one fourth. So the correct answer would be uh, C. But I also want you to show how to solve this problem with a different method. And once again, uh, in this method we have to consider uh, what kind of gametes can produce parent 1. And as you see, parent 1 can uh, produce gametes that is capital A and uh, capital B. So this is one kind of gamete. Uh, another variant would be capital A and small b. Yet another one, small a capital B. And another can be small a and small b. And parent 2 only can produce uh, one variant of gametes that is small a, small b. So uh, this is only one possible variant because uh, this parent is uh, homozygous recessive for the A allele and homozygous for the B allele and this is the only one variant. So 
we put here small a and small b. Once again we draw uh, a Punnett square and there is four different genotypes possible here. So in this cell we would have capital A small a and capital B small b. Here we would have uh, capital A and small a and small b small b. Next cell small a small a and capital B small b. And the last one small a small a and small b small b. And as you see this is uh, exactly the genotype that we are looking for. And as you see this would be one quarter. So we have all together one, two, three, four genotypes and all these genotypes are uh, one to one to one uh, to one ratio and uh, the probability for the genotype to be small a small a small b small b would be one fourth. So uh, this is another another method how we can solve this problem and uh, this is the first one here and both of them give us uh, the same answer for this problem. This is uh, answer C. Uh, chances is one fourth or 25 percent. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.